Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with command line interfaces. Our viewer asks, is there a better way of supporting enums as types of argparse arguments than the pattern shown? Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To support enum arguments in argparse more effectively, we can leverage the enum class directly in our argument parsing. First, let's define our enum class. Here we have an enum called some enum with two members, one and two. Next, we can modify our argparse setup. Instead of using type star, we can use the enum directly as the type for our argument. This way, argparse will automatically handle the conversion from string to enum, simplifying our code. In summary, using enum directly in argparse enhances readability and reduces the need for additional conversion logic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This solution introduces a custom argparse action for handling enum arguments. It allows you to use enumeration names instead of values and provides clear error messages. The enum action class checks if the provided type is an enum subclass and generates choices from the enum names. It raises errors if the type is not valid. When the action is called, it converts the string value back into an enum. If the value is missing or invalid, it raises a descriptive error. This approach enhances user experience by providing meaningful feedback when incorrect values are passed. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.